Aries, generosity represents the ability to discern what is right and what is valued from what is not. You have to be cautious with conflicts. Hi there, Aries. It's Milady, and I'm here to bring you your December 2020 reading. This is your past. This is your present. And this is your future. This is the Optagon reading that I have for you for this month. So let's jump right in there. So Aries, I am looking at the star card here. And I'm being drawn to the waters. Okay? Two different kind of waters here. There's the calm water and it, there's the, the what you call like rippled water here. So I want to say like it's two different kind of waters and you're like basically in the middle. You got your knee on one side and your foot on the other. Okay, so which waters are you going to go with? <laughs> okay, are you going to go with the calm waters? Or are you going to go with the rippled ones where like there's going to be challenges, there's going to be obstacles, like which way are you going to go here? Okay, now I do want to let you know here, okay, with this uh, four of pentacles, uh, there is um, some money here, okay? I feel that this is why you're going, and this is in the past, okay? Remember this is in the past, okay? So I feel like uh, you took your chances, you tested the waters, um, you moved in on it swiftly, possibly even not thinking about it or thinking through the possible, uh, challenges or possibly even consequences. Okay. Where in the present here, it's showing me, it is showing me that it was something from afar. It's showing me, uh, where you've gone in blindly in a situation. Okay. And I see here where he's, he decided to go for the rippled water here. Okay. Not the calm waters, but the rippled waters. Okay, there's even an alligator right there, but he's going in blindly. He doesn't even see the alligator. He's just going right into whatever it is that he's trying to get to here. Okay, and this is probably why your center card is saying this. Um, okay, now for your future here, there's a king of wands here, which may even be possibly you standing in on your uh, reading here. The, uh, the energy here is a um, Arius... Leo Sagittarius energy, fire, adventurous, okay, daring, spontaneous, okay, but it's also letting me know that, I mean, it's not a bad thing is what I'm showing here. I'm actually seeing a good thing and it's just like, I, I want to say possibly a, a stroke of luck. It's it's just basically luck on your side is what I'm showing here, Arius. Luck. Um, and, and the other thing that I'm being pointed to is how these three here are the same um, uh, suit or the same symbol. Wands, wands, wands. Uh, distance or uh, far away, I would say something from afar. You're holding that. And here is just the stroke of luck. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? And like, you got this. <laughs> it's what's showing me. Okay. And basically, this um, this here is just letting me know you um, just going in, just doing what you have to do is just taking in um, this luck, this sudden luck that comes in for you. And uh, making your money, basically. Okay? Because these two signs, these two have the same signs. Okay? Just making your money is what I'm showing there. Let's see what the clarifying cards are here. Just be very careful, Aries. Okay? Okay. So, here. Very good advice for you. Patience and planning. Okay? Patience and planning is what you need. That's probably why we're, uh, I see you here in the future planning things. Okay. Because that's basically what it is. You're, you're making your money. You're there, but you're making your plans too. You're planning ahead. Okay. But you have to be patient, right? Because not everything is going to come out the way you want them or normally, let's say. Okay. Because in this reading here, it's clearly saying that there's this, 
this luck that's on your side, <laughs> something that's really protecting you, all right? And I see things happening for you, and that's great. And that's what I have for you, Arius. Bye-bye.